Hello you beautiful people, it is Tooth here, Tooth Decay, and in honour of Uncle Roger about to open his first restaurant in his native town of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, no doubt they'll be over here soon as well folks, and probably all over the States, we are doing authentic nasi goreng with a crispy fried egg on top, and we're going to do some prawn chips as well, prawn crackers, shrimp chips, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to put loads and loads of chilli in this. It's going to be an absolute flavour bomb, folks. And once it goes, it goes real fast. So we're just going to film the whole thing front to back and see how we get on. Right, let's do this thing, folks. It is now fried rice o'clock. I've got my wok on, we're going to do some prawn crackers first. So while we're waiting for that oil to heat up, we'll do a quick ingredient check. So I've got some diced shallots, shallots. I've got about three cloves of garlic that I've roughly chopped. I've got three eggs and one egg yolk. I've got some scallions and a couple of really large red chili peppers that we will pop in at the end. I've got a little MSG and some ground white pepper. I'm not going to put too much MSG in because there's plenty of MSG in the soy sauce and actually I've got light soy sauce, dark soy sauce and over at the back there sweet soy sauce otherwise known as ketchup manise. And then we've got a little bit of finishing oil and of course we've got this beautiful rice, just look at that. That is absolutely stunning and it tastes good already folks. Right, right, I reckon that oil is there or thereabouts. I'm going to go in with just a few at a time because they will puff up. These will also burn real quick. So once they're, they're there, you need to get them out. Right, this is going to go really fast now, peeps. sprinkle of MSG now, a little white pepper, oh man, now you could call that a day there, and that would be a stunning egg fried rice, but we don't want to do that, oh look at those little grains of rice jumping around. That was the light soy sauce. Now we're just going to go in with a little bit of dark soy sauce. This for me is as much about colour as anything else. Now this is a little thicker, so we're just going to go a tiny bit. And that's the ketchup mayonnaise, the uh, sweet soy sauce that's just gone in. Right, this is nearly finished, folks. So. You could, if you had some, and I thought I had a jar in the cupboard and it turned out I didn't, um, you could add some sambal or rendang paste or both. And all you do is just pop it in the middle there. Let it heat up a little bit and then stir it in. It's very nice as well. So I'm just gonna hit that now with a tiny amount. You don't need a lot of toasted of sesame oil. Very strong flavour. And I 
I've just whacked that heat up so high for the last couple of minutes. I want to char off a few bits of that, that rice. Just want to heat those through a little bit. And there you have it folks, we've got nasi goreng, crispy Asian fried egg and shrimp crackers, absolutely stunning and made in minutes, if not a few hours prep. So hopefully you can see it's not actually that difficult as long as you've got all of your stuff prepped and then you can just get on with it. Now I'm well aware that I edited out a lot of the dead space, which means you can't see how long different things took. So the main cook was actually 22 minutes from start to finish and I thought that might be a bit boring to put up but if any of you out there actually want to see that so you can get an idea of the timings and you know where I missed things and had to run back into the kitchen to get them and what I did in the meantime I'm very happy to put that up just as a sort of an extra video but I didn't want that to be the main one that I put out on this let me know in the comments below if you want to see that 22 minute video of just the main cook with no edits whatsoever and I will put that up for you all right latest potatoes off your pop